हेलो एवरीवन आई एम विजय गाडबे एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस थ्री वीडियोस वी अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू एक्सेस द अजो डेटा लाइक स्टोरेज यूजिंग द सेशन स्कोप्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू एक्सेस द अजो डेटा लाइक स्टोरेज यूजिंग द क्लस्टर स्कोप्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन सो लेटस गो टू डेटा ब्रिक्स वर्क स्पेस एंड अंडरस्टैंड द सेम अंडर द सेशन स्कोप्ड ऑथेंटिकेशन वी आर एक्सेसिंग द अजो डेटा लाइक स्टोरेज using the storage access keys shared access signature and service principle now in this video we will understand about the cluster scoped authentication so here i am on the azure portal i have already opened the workspace the azure databricks workspace and this is the cluster i have created cluster 01 it is up and running as well as i have created this notebook cluster scoped authentication let us connect this notebook to the cluster great first we will understand the theoretical part let us start with the session scoped authentication here the authentication was valid within the session established by the execution of notebook and the authentication obtained to access the data is only valid within that session once you detach the notebook from the cluster then we have to reauthenticate again in order to access the storage account from the notebook so here the authentication is only valid through this session let us understand about the cluster scoped authentication instead of authenticating from the notebooks we can do that within the cluster at the start up of the cluster so every notebook connecting to that cluster have the access to the storage and we can do that by specifying the spark configuration parameters and corresponding secret values within the cluster configuration now there are few drawbacks of the cluster scoped authentication as well every notebook which runs on the cluster will have the access to the data lake storage so the cluster could not be used for the other purposes where some of the users should have limited access to the data or no access to that data i hope you understood the theory about the session scoped authentication cluster scoped authentication and the drawbacks of the cluster scoped authentication let us see this in practical so this is the cluster i have created go to the cluster we have to edit then scroll down go to advanced option here we have to specify the spark configuration we have to specify the spark configuration like this fs.azure.account.key then we have to specify the storage account name .dbs.core.windows.net and after that we have to specify the key here we have to specify the space before specifying the key so i'll copy this code create another cell here we have to specify the storage account name to do that i'll open another azure portal here go to storage accounts the storage account that we have created gen2 storage 248 i'll copy the name and specify here the storage account name now we have to specify the account key go to storage account then go to access keys i'll copy this access key from here and paste now copy all this go to cluster under the advanced options go to spark configuration and paste these are the two spark configurations that we already had and this is the configuration that we specified note down this you should never hard code the secrets or store them in the plain text as of now we are doing this but in upcoming videos we will not do that we will understand the secrets as of now we are ignoring this warning now confirm and restart the cluster confirm 
cluster is restarting will take a bit time to do that so i'll fast forward the process so the cluster is restarted successfully let us go to the notebook let us try to execute this command dbutils.fs.ls here we are specifying the container name and the storage account name so this is the content of the demo container this is the file name here we are getting the path as well as we are getting the size and modification time that means we are able to access the demo container let us try to read the data from the file to do that we are using spark read method here and this is the content of the file so here we are successfully accessing the azure data lake storage using the cluster scope authentication now go to cluster cluster 01 edit go to advanced options and delete the spark configuration that we have added and restart the cluster so this video about the cluster scoped authentication ends here and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you